What is up guys, welcome to Sports Analysis with your boy VAC. Now today we'll be talking about cleats, what they are, how they help us. And of course, cleats are one of the most important tools for any athlete in any sport. Today we'll be discussing the differences in characteristics such as design and usage. Hope you enjoy and like and subscribe for more. So what are these differences? Well, we'll be looking at design and usage. So get your Sherlock Holmes hat and magnifying glass and let's see. So first off, let's look at a soccer cleat. As you may notice right away, it's sleek. It's very slender, but not bulky. It's very light when you pick it up. And the laces are also very light, they're very thin. This is some lightweight polyester, I believe. And another thing you'll notice is that it's really open right here where your ankle is. So it leaves you open to, to ankle twisting. So you better be careful with that. But in general, as you can see, this thing is built for speed. Now let's look at the bottom. Sorry. Uh, You'll see the studs. All the studs are put in a certain way that it leads to the front. And this is very consistent in many cleats, not just soccer. Um, we even have these making a small arrow pointing forward. Um, short studs mean fast, quick steps. You want to grab onto as much as you want. Uh, take the step as fast as you can. And boom, boom, boom. I want to get there as soon as possible, but as you can see, the back studs are kind of bigger since it helps a lot as well. Now, going on to the baseball cleat, you see the big difference. One of the main differences is the studs. The studs on this thing are way bigger, more defined, as you can see. But if you'll notice, they have these small versions of studs right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Now, these studs are essentially made for what baseball players call turning on your glove side. Um, when you turn on your glove side, you catch the ball with whatever hand you have the glove and then you just make the, the spin the turn it's called pivot and then just to get that throw out as fast as you can um you see a little bit more protection here around the ankle uh baseball players tend to <laughs> play both dirt and grass and what you want to avoid is getting a hurt ankle anytime uh much more protection, much bulkier. The shoelaces are also um, more, uh, they're just tougher. They're made of stronger material. Uh, the studs are bigger, unlike soccer cleats that are made for prolonged periods of speed. Uh, the bulkiness really brings down that time period and allows for short sprints, which makes sense since you have to get to one base to another. But it still helps when you have a good chance of running for long periods of time, just as long as you know how to control your speed, knowing the weight of the cleat, your own body weight, applying all of that, and really just focusing on getting to where you need to be. As far as football cleats go, I'm not very attuned with the information that goes into it but as you can see in these photos the place where your ankle is is much higher providing more protection against twisted ankles the build is bulkier and you can easily tell that the material is much stronger than baseball cleats um, here you can see that some of the studs are made into a circular form to help with that football grip. Now 
the usage of these cleats are very distinct, yet they have many similarities. Uh, one of these similarities is that they're all made for running. Who knew? Uh, each one has its own running capabilities. For example, the bulkiness of the baseball cleat does not make it efficient in a long time period of sustained sprinting or running in general, but it will help with the short term quick sprints. Now, soccer cleats, aside from making long periods of sprinting, since they have a sleek figure and are made very light, uh, they are used to make curved kicks. Uh, most of these kicks, when made, are made usually with the inside of the shoe. Um, occasionally, soccer players get fancy and use the outside and are still able to make a curved kick. Now, football cleats, however, are also made for kicking, but they use the laces. Uh, for those of you who have seen football games and the Super Bowl and whatnot, you'll notice that when a field goal is made, the football player make, uses the laces. My only point of reference for this would have been a close-up shot of a player making the kick. But in other words, yes, it is very distinct and yet has very, very cool Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoy and remember to stay tuned for more.